Thank you, Chair. In this time of crisis, we need to use all the tools we have to support growth and Europe competitive. In this context, ICT and the spectrum issue are extremely important. Take the digital agenda, for example. We need to build a digital internal market, and we need to develop the kind of ICT solutions that would underpin Europe that should emerge from this crisis. I'm thinking of e-health, e-democracy, smart and efficient transport, smart metering for energy, and smart grids. Much of this will be difficult, some of it impossible, to achieve if we don't secure the regulatory framework and international agreements necessary, like the ITU's radio regulations. Secondly, the Commission has a job to do here, to ensure that the Union approach, a European approach, is well represented at the ITU conference. For the first time, the Commission has a chance to speak for Union interest in this international negotiations. And we do need the Commission to represent our EU framework. Take the radio spectrum policy that we voted on in this Parliament in May as an example. That is the foundation for the digital agenda and for Europe 2020, a competitive Europe with new jobs that we badly need. And we will continue to establish EU rules in this area in the years to come. So, we absolutely have to find a way forward for consistency between our EU legislation and the international regulatory framework. I urge the Commission to establish and pursue a clear, consistent strategy and to make sure that there is a strong EU dimension in the upcoming negotiations. I also expect the Commission to strongly defend the principles of transparency and personal integrity as laid out in the telecoms package. Thank you. Ευχαριστώ πολύ και εγώ την κυρία Εκ. Τώρα η κυρία Λάμπερτ έχει το λόγο εξ ονόματο τη Τόμπρασίνη. Παντού. Ανώνε, ο κύριο Λάμπερτ. Α, je vous ai pas vu, je suis